How do you transition carpet to a brand new beautiful marble floor? In this video, I'm going to break it down for you. So what's cracking? It's Carpet Mike here from CarpetExpertBlueprint.com. Still chipping away, hustling day and night. And I'm going to show you how you can do the same in the carpet and flooring industry. But check this out. The seam falls like a half inch short of the threshold where they installed the new flooring. They called us up to see if we can go ahead and stretch that up for them, put it back together. I'm gonna show you how you could do the same if the carpet comes up short of your newly installed floor. So first things first, we got a we got a hot disaster on our hands here. We got, need some tools here. We gotta clean some things up. So first we're gonna get some snips. We're gonna cut that tack strip just a little bit more precise there. Usually we just smack it with a hammer, but you know, we gotta, we gotta get it lined up a little better here. Get some of that gunk and junk out of the way. Get a nice flat surface to work with. And we're going to take our hammer. We're going to go ahead and tap this first piece of tack strip down. And no, we won't be doing any turning tacks on this one because there's nothing to turn and tack to once we get that old seam tape off of there. So we got one piece of tack strip down. We're going to go ahead and get another one in place. Throw some security nails in that just to make sure it's down and tight because we're going to give it the bliggity blast to make sure it sticks tight. So just throw a couple sinkers in there so when you throw that good stretch on it, it doesn't fall back. And if you're new to this and you're swinging that hammer like a madman, make sure you do not hit those tiles there because they will cost you dearly when you break one of them. So we're going to go ahead and finish out that tack strip there, get all the way to the other end. Swiggity swing, everything's good. Okay, good, good. Let's go ahead and peel that tape off there. All right, boom. Now we've got all that raggedy old pad. We need, we need some extra tack strip here. We're going to double up the strip. Now that it's doubled up, when we stretch it up, it's going to grab it instantly. There's not going to be any room for it to pull back and come up short of that threshold. And then we'll just tuck it right in. We'll be good to go. Throw a little filler in there. Snip it up. Clean it up. Boom, boom. All right. That's lined up. Same scenario. Throw some little filler. Eek, man, that was just asking to bust a towel there. That's okay. We got through it. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and trim that back. I have one dull blade in this knife, but I'm determined to pull the whole job off with that one crusty old blade because, hey, who wants to walk out to the van and grab tools when you're already inside the house? We're here to get money. Let's grab this bread and get on with it. Now, if you're wondering how much you can get paid for these, this is a $100 stop right here. There's actually three doorways, but a minimum stop is $75. So if I just showed up to do this one doorway, $75. So Everything's ready to rock. We're good to go. We're a little bit shy there. Just get out that trusty knee kicker there. We're going to blast that up. Okay, off to a good start. Everything's tucked up nice and tight. Look how easy that was. $75 there. You know what I'm saying? And, of course, it's a time-lapse video, but this is like six minutes worth of work right here. The drive time, of course, you got to figure that. That's 45 minutes round trip. But the actual work time, about six minutes there. Just trim up the sides there, get those tucked back in, and then we're going to go ahead and tuck that edge. Believe me, we're not leaving it all raggedy like that. Hang tight for it here. Here we go. Just get a little tuck with the butt of the knife. Don't be doing how I do that there. It's just asking for someone to get hurt. Go ahead and get your stair tool, hook knife, whatever. Tuck it in. Oh, look at that. Everything's good to go. And that's how you transition carpet to new, I think that's marble, ceramic, something. is dope. But yeah, that's how you do that. Take notes. Bye-bye.